Greetings, everyone, and welcome once again to Oberon's Outlook on Emotional Exchanges, which is a weekly reading for the emotional energies and situations that will be happening to you. And that's starting for the week, starting tomorrow, Friday, and that's December 28th through next Thursday, which would be mm, January 2nd, I believe. Yes, January 2nd. Anyway, we're going to get started right away. So the, the weekly reading is for the Zodiac signs as arranged by Elemental Association. So we start off with air. And that's air signs, which are Gemini, Libra, and also <clears throat> Aquarius. So this reading is for them. So I'm shuffling the cards now. These are the kind of emotional situations or energies uh, possibly information about relationships, things of that sort that we can expect to find for them. Alrighty. And I'm pulling my cards. And I have pulled, whoops, the Prince of Cups reversed. The Nine of Wands reversed. And the Prince of Discs or Pentacles coins reversed. So what does that mean? So we're going to look at that. So with the Prince of Cups reversed, this does seem to indicate the coming or going of some emotional matter. It may be that air signs may be having some situation where they may be changing their relationship status or somebody may be changing their relationship status on us and i get the feeling too that because of the nine of wands um we're kind of seeing the idea and it's reversed that um maybe we will feel like it's not worth fighting for maybe that's what's going to be happening and maybe it will be feeling like the relationship has worn some sort of test uh, if it isn't specifically about a relationship, it could be about a friendship or strong emotional ties. There may be some sort of argument and maybe a possible parting of ways here. I don't know if there's too much that can bring that back. Um, with the reverse Prince of Coins, I sort of feel like once again, the impetus seems to be to let it go, or at least for now. So that's what I'm seeing for air signs is possible painful breakup or just the resolve that it is time for that to break up so that's what i have for you in this next week ahead and now we're going to move on to our fire signs <clears throat> and fire signs are aries leo and sagittarius so this reading will be covering what's going on in their emotional life for the next week or so. So I'm shuffling those cards. And I'm pulling my cards. And those are... The Six of Swords, upright. The Four of Discs, reversed. Getting some glare from my light there. And then the Queen of Cups, upright. And so these are interesting cards for the emotional relationship. Uh, the Six of Swords seems to indicate that maybe, once again, somebody else in, in the Fire Signs is thinking about that they have problems they need to journey away from and that they're wondering about the status of their relationship or they're wondering about something that gives them a, a great deal of pain or heartache. <clears throat> and with the four of coins, the four of discs reversed, I also feel that there's the sense here um, that people are ready to give up something that they feel is financially better for them rather than face certain constraints or limitations. And so I don't know if this is you, the fire signs, or these are the people that are in your relationship and situation, but you may just be feeling something has to change here. 
The Queen of Cups may represent the idea, to me at least, that maybe there is something else on the horizon. And so maybe we are, are literally saying we are, we are kind of falling out of love or falling out of our emotional happy zone. And maybe we are thinking about somebody else. So I don't know if it's a matter of falling in love with somebody else so that you therefore fall out of love with somebody else or if there is that situation going on with the other person like maybe you find that their affections have turned towards somebody else and so that's not good news either and i wonder what's going on because i'm getting that with the air signs and now with the fire signs that they are absolutely having some possible relationship problems or certainly strong emotional ties being considered as <clears throat> not so tied not so bound together so i'm wondering about that but we're going to move on now and we're going to move to our water signs. And so we're going to read what's in their emotional situation for the next week ahead. And water signs are signs like myself, which are Scorpio, but they also include Cancers and they also include Pisces. And so they are the sign of emotional current. And so usually they tend to be the most emotional signs. Ask me about me crying at the last Star Wars movie. It was kind of a teary thing for me, but I am emotional that way, and I suspect a lot of our other emotional water signs react that way too. So we're going to shuffle those cards and see what's going on for them right now. Here it goes. And we're pulling our cards. Oh dear. So... Once again, we have the Queen of Cups. This time it shows up as the first card in this reading. And she's upright. And then we also have the Two of Swords. And then we have a Prince of Cups, which is a semi-corollary to the Queen of Cups. So what does that mean for our emotional signs of Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer? Well, the Queen of Cups doesn't indicate involvement with something approaching a romance maybe it's coming to you maybe it's deepening if you already have one it's stress a strong emotional pleasantness in a way this is really like an ideal mate type person no matter what your situations are this can apply to you if you're male or female and if the object of your desire is those or either or whatever it's just saying it's the obvious idea of a romance possibly coming to you or deepening for you. But with the Two of Swords, we also see this idea that there's a decision happening here, too. And it, so it may be about that. It may be that maybe you've had situations about one or more persons in your relationship status, and maybe you have to decide about them. But it also seems to suggest to me that this decision is not easy and that may involve a certain level of not feeling really prepared for that, not feeling like you have what it takes really to do that at this point. And you may want to try to put that off if you can somehow. With the Prince of Cups, we see that as more of the possibility that maybe this is the kind of situation where I'm thinking we are delaying a response about going further in a relationship. That's what I see there. I'm thinking that some of our emotional signs right now are having... Uh, more cautionary and maybe they're affected by what they see going on with the air signs and the fire signs and so maybe they're feeling like being more cautious in decisions about relationships that's kind of what I've seen going on there with those signs so finally at last we are moving to our earth signs earth signs are Tauruses uh, Virgos and Capricorns so they tend to be more grounded as we say you know so they may be more practical about some emotional matters but we should keep in mind that every single sign fire sign earth sign whatever sign you are you have aspects of all of the other signs and all of those elemental associations within you too they're just in different areas of your chart so they may affect different parts of your life so any sign, even a fire sign, can find emotional moments. An earth sign can find overly emotional moments. So let's see what's going on for our earth signs right now. I'm having those cards here. And one, two, three. So I have pulled, once again, another two. The two of discs reversed. And then I have the princess of discs, which is upright. 
And then I have the king of disks, which is a semi-corollary two to that one. So what does that mean? Well, the two of disks reverse seems to indicate that our earth signs are going to be having some problems in this next week, balancing various commitments along with an emotional side to the life. And so the thing is, is that maybe if people are depending on you to bring them a certain something, you know, New Year's is coming up, maybe somebody's depending on you to bring a certain life to the party and you realize you can't make it because there is an obligation you absolutely have to do. Yes, even on New Year's Eve, it's something else. That may be what's happening. And you're, you're grappling with that. Maybe it's not quite that specific to New Year's, but you're grappling with the idea of trying to handle various obligations that may be interfering with these more emotional, pleasurable aspects of your life. And to some degree, what I see happening with that is that that's true, that there is definitely something you would rather focus on, and it may be the emotional realm. But I'm also seeing that it could be just really about something more practical for you because it is your nature. The earth signs and discs are representative of the earth signs. And so with the princess of discs, I'm thinking you're looking at maybe studying things. You want to study something. You want to really study that till you know it. Maybe it's about a relationship, though. I mean, it's still that aspect there. And with the king of discs, what I'm thinking here is that there's a practicality that's going to really ring through and you're going to have to decide if you're moving ahead with something or not based sheerly more on what it does practicality that love is a lot of things but it doesn't necessarily put food on the table if you know what i mean and so if there is a heady decision to be made over romantic things or emotional things you in this next week ahead may have to decide on doing it practically and that's pretty much what it comes down to you know we're, we live in those kind of times so now i'm going to leave us once again with our word for the week and that was something new that I tried last week. And it was basically pulling a simple card to tell us uh, what we feel is a word of sorts, uh, a guideline, if you will. And I lost my other card. So I'll just go ahead and do this anyways. There you are, the air signs. So I know those aren't exactly visible, but we'll do this like that. There we go. <clears throat> so this is the word of the week. Whoops, wrong deck. We're using that one. I'm really on top of things here today, but we're doing that, and here it is, the word of the week. And this is maybe a key word, a word you can meditate on, a word that maybe will inspire you to a certain course of action or a certain line of thought that you will find helpful in the week ahead. So for my air signs, I'm seeing desolation. Reflect on desolation. What does that really mean? Are you going to be desolate without certain advantages that relate to your emotional spectrum? For our fire signs, I'm seeing the card of the week or the word of the week is speculation. And that is looking into things and really trying to figure out. It's what we do. We speculate a little bit on where these cards are leading us to understand something. So in this next week ahead, think about what you can speculate on and how you can make that manifest. <clears throat> and then for the water signs, I'm seeing, that's kind of interesting, the navigator. And so the navigator is telling us that maybe we need to think about what waters we are traversing and navigating. Finally, for our last card, the word of the week for the earth signs is initiation. And so what I'm thinking earth signs need to think about is the ways they initiate themselves and others towards newness, towards looking at everything as if it's new again and understanding what that wisdom that you can derive from that moment is. That's what an initiation can be, wisdom of the moment. So these are the words of the week. And once again, I thank you for listening to Oberon's Outlook on the Emotional Exchanges. I'll see you next Friday.